Hey guys, what is up? And today I will be showing you how to create an account on Scratch and then I'll be showing you a quick tutorial of a chase game, which is a game where you have to run away from something or someone. Okay, but let's get right into it. So first, you have to go on Scratch, scratch.mit.edu, and click on Join Scratch, and then your username, password, then type in your password again. Net, okay. How about we just do... Da. There. Next. Oh, it does. Da. Da. There. And now just, you know, do whatever it is. And then your email, your de your parents' email. So you could just do like, like, you know, I'll just do blah, 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 blah. Stop. Jeez. There. That's a. There, and now you want to do the same thing. And you click on next, and basically you're done. So, never. Then, I'm just going to sign into my old account. This is how you make a chase game. So, this is the preview of the project. So, if you want to, I'll just show you the preview real quick. There. Oopsies. There. Preview. So this is a preview. Go, okay, so you go around, you're a mouse, you go around collecting apples. Oh my god, you go around collecting apples and try not to be caught by the cat. And as you can see, as you collect the apple, your score goes up. Fine. Cat. Okay, let's just get right into the tutorial. So you want to create a new project. And then... Delete that, and you want to choose, you can do whatever, I, for this, I might just, I might do a beetle, and a bat, ooh, no, you don't have to paint, you have to click on, you have to choose a sprite, and I'll do a bat, and I could do, like, some kind of food, or, like, I would do, um, let's just go with the crystal. So for the crystal, there's two types of crystal. I'm going to go with crystal B. And, okay, let's just get started. So for the beetle, I am going to go when flag clicked, set size to fit, to like, let's go 75. Then you want to drag this to the bat, and then when that sprite shakes, then you, uh, okay, never mind. You want to do it again, like that, and that's going to be here. So now you want to set the size to 80, there, and then set size to, okay, now we got to do forever, if he right pressed and then there's if key and now you want to duplicate this four times there so now one is right one is left one is up and one is down there so now you want to go change x for both of these change x and now the the ver the Number that you put in this is basically like the speed, so I'm going to go 5. And then, if you want it to move backwards, it's negative 5. Then there is Y. For the up and down, we have to do Y. So, change Y, and change Y. So, change Y by 5, and change Y by negative 5. So, and then you have to do point in direction 90. Point in direction negative 90. Point in direction 
zero, and then point in direction 180. 180. Okay, so now if we run the project, you can see that the beetle can move around now. Yeah, and I will change its size a little bit more, like maybe 50 or 60. Yep, 60. Yep, 60 is good. Now, okay, and I'm going to change the bat to like 70. Yeah, there. So now we program the bat. So once I click, ooh, and for the beetle, I keep on forgetting this, but we have to show and then drag the beetle over to the top left hand corner and drag and put the go to block right here. And then the bat, you have to do the same thing. Like put it on the bottom right hand corner and then do that. And then show. Okay, so now we have to do a forever if he or forever point towards point towards beetle and then um point towards beetle and move I will do three steps but you can make it faster if you want. Oh, and here's the thing for the bat. The bat, you can click, you click on, um, no, you can't do it in this, but, okay, so you have to scroll all the way down, and, and the rotation style, you have to set it to don't rotate. So the bat will be, yeah, there, it starts chasing you around there okay uh, wait does the bat okay so the bat has costumes so I'm going to delete these and then I'm going to go forever next costume which means it will make it look like it's flying oop that's too fast so now you have to put a weight um let's do a weight 0.1 second there we go it's flying now but that makes it even slower so we we can make it move five steps there we go that's better okay so now let's program the crystal so we have to go to the beetle and do one flag click if oh forever if touching beetle or if touching crystal, if touching crystal, then chain, oh, then broadcast, broadcast random position. Okay, and now go to the crystal, and when I receive random position, go to random position so if we test this out yep the crystal goes to the random position goes to the random position once you get it now we can make a score so you want to go to the variables delete my variable and make a variable called score there and now you want to set score to zero Oh, one flag click, set score to zero. And then after the go to random position, you want to change score by one. So now, if you get the crystal, it changes your score. Okay, time to make a game over. So, game over. Okay, so now you want to paint a sprite, and I'm going to make it red. You can make it whatever color you want. And I'm going to type game over. There we go. Game over. Now, there we go. Game over. Oh, I'm going to make it huge. Huge. Oh, no. Not that huge. Let's shrink it down. Oh, 
Okay. Game over. Okay. Now you have to go to the bat, and if touching, if touching the beetle, then broadcast. Game over. Game over. And then, yep. And then when I receive game over, show. When I receive game over, show. And once I click tied, and then we do a stop all, which means like you go down here. And then there's a stop all block, and if you place it after the show, then, um, like, it's gonna stop the whole game, and, yeah. Okay, I feel like this might be a bit too easy, because of how slow the bat is. So, I, yeah, see, the bat caught you, and game over. But, you have to make it go to zero, zero, so. Zero, tab zero. Zero means... Zero, zero means, like, the center, the perfect middle. Okay. Now, I will actually go ahead and change the speed of the bat because it's moving too slow. Maybe, like, seven. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. There. So, now I will be adding a backdrop. So, choose a backdrop, and I want to do galaxy. Yeah, there we go. And I can add a sound. So, I'm going to choose a sound. Animals. Uh, cro jungle frog. Hmm. Okay. What's this? Oh, no. I'll do this. Squeaks, and then broadcast. Oh, play sound squeak. And then you want to play sound squeak. Ooh, pop. Oh no, I did something wrong. Okay, animals, squeaks, play sound squeaks until done. There. So now if we get caught, oh, stop all, you know, I'm going to get rid of that and play, okay, start sound squeaks. You know what, I will add this to the bat, like, when I receive game over, when I receive game over for the beetle, then I'm gonna play sound squeaks until done. Oh no, it's that glitch again. Play sound squeaks until done. There. So now we have our game. It's fully functioning. There. Okay. So, guys, this is that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and smash that notification bell if you want more videos. That is it for today. Bye.